Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimate Ears Boom Bluetooth speaker. This Bluetooth speaker is worth around $200, so today, I'm going to let you guys know whether I think it's worth that price tag, or if you should look elsewhere at something like the Bose Soundlink Mini. So, let's get into it. As always, let's take a look at the physical tour before the audio quality portion. The UE Boom comes in many different skins and color combinations. The one I have is the night black version, which has a red accent. This one is available at Best Buy, while some of the other colors are only available online. Some of the other options are white and red, green and blue, and a Superman red and blue theme. On top of the boom you will find a power button with an LED and also the Bluetooth pairing button. Going down the side of the boom is a mesh material which makes the unit water and stain resistant and there's a rubbery strip which has huge volume up and volume down buttons. The speakers inside the unit creates a 360 degree sound output so the music plays in all directions. On the bottom there's a 3.5mm audio jack for wired audio, a micro USB charging port, and a removable D-ring with a standard tripod mount underneath it. Okay now it's time for the audio part of the review. If you ever get the chance to go to Best Buy and test the UE boom out and compare it to other Bluetooth speakers, I would highly suggest it. It took me over an hour to pick the one I wanted because different speakers in this price range all sound very different and have different strengths and weaknesses. The main one I kept comparing this one to was the Bose Soundlink Mini. In terms of audio quality only, I honestly have to say that they were tied, offering a different advantage from each. The UE Boom sounds crystal clear at all volume levels, but the Bose does pack a little bit more bass. Before shopping for the speaker, I thought I would have preferred the bass heavy speaker, but the Boom is so crystal clear that I just had to buy this one. Just for the sake of you guys not hating me, now I'll set up a makeshift audio test of the Boom. Please keep in mind, what you're about to hear will be completely different than in real life. I'm recording this with a blue snowball microphone, I'm not going to edit it, but after compression from YouTube and other factors, the sound will not be totally replicated. So here it is. My last part of the review is the features that are included with the UE Boom. This is another reason why I picked this speaker over something like the Bose Soundlink Mini. The Boom truly feels like a newer piece of tech because of a few features. The first one is the software that you can install on your smartphone. After buying your speaker, you should go download the app UE Boom. This allows you to control your speaker without having to touch it. Once updated the first time, you'll be able to send firmware updates to your speaker straight from your phone over Bluetooth. You can also set up the double up feature which allows you to connect multiple booms to the same source for a true stereo setup. I really want a second one for my computer desk. Speaking of which, I am personally such a fan of this speaker that I'm using it for my computer sound. I like the simple and clean look of it, plus the clearness is unlike any speaker that I own right now. Also in the software, you can set up some equalizer settings, an alarm, and a few other features. This is where I believe the UE Boom becomes worth the price tag of $200. If these super easy to use features weren't included, I would have been closer to buying a different speaker. I'm also a fan of the battery life. Logitech claims that it can last 15 hours, but it's probably closer to 12 to 14 hours. If you press the volume up and down buttons at the same time, a crispy clear voice will tell you exactly how much battery is left. 40% charge. Well that pretty much wraps up my review of the Ultimate Ears Boom Bluetooth speaker. When I was in the market for a $200 Bluetooth speaker, I went with this one. And a couple months later, I'm extremely happy with it. I use this speaker every single day for my computer audio, and I've even taken it to the beach a couple times and it worked flawlessly. If you're worried about having to stand this unit upright, then don't, because if you lay it horizontally like this, it works perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed my improved audio quality with my new blue snowball microphone. As always, Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.